Lesson 109, non-Euclidean geometry. So all of the geometry that we have done up until this point is called Euclidean geometry. And it's called that because it was named by um, the Greek mathematician Euclid. He is the one that kind of described the systems of geometry. So non-Euclidean geometry is just based on figures in a curved surface. And the parallel postulate doesn't hold true. Um, one type is called spherical geometry, and that's what we're going to talk about today. That's just um, a geometry defined on a sphere. So the parallel postulate doesn't does not hold true. This is for any non-Euclidean geometry. Uh, to find the area of a triangle on a sphere, let's see, area of a triangle. It is equal to, this is what the formula looks like, pi r squared divided by 180 times the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 minus 180. Boom. So the... Can I have the formula? Yes. So it's minus 180, but in the triangle aren't mostly well, in spherical geometry, the sum of the angles in a spherical triangle is always greater than 180. So, we can classify triangles on a sphere, um, a right triangle would have all right angles, uh, equilateral, still all the sides would be congruent. Mm, I'm trying to think of, yeah, that's about it. So, you know, right triangles and all the 